for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today, and there's actually quite a few things to go over. We have some roster updates, some player ratings updates, as well as some Madden Ultimate Team updates for some of the issues that I've been having with uh, daily objectives and stuff like that. So, as always, I try to do this video every week, every Thursday, Friday, whenever an update comes out. Uh, this one isn't like a huge patch where they're changing a lot of things in the game, but there have been some improvements. So, I'm going to go over those later in the video. But if you guys want me to do more videos like this, as always, make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that let's go let's get right into the video so i'm going to start off with uh some information that came out from madden nfl directs twitter account and that was their uh attempt to address uh one of the biggest issues for me in ultimate team was the daily objectives not tracking properly for some users it said that going forward players should see daily objectives track and reward correctly now that's part one part two is they also tweeted out something saying that they are working on a resolution for players impacted by this issue during the previous weeks now that might to me that sounds like they're going to have some sort of rewards or um you know i, I don't know how they're really going to track that but it sounds like they're going to be giving away some free stuff so if people were unfairly impacted by the fact that it wasn't tracking daily objectives i know me personally it wasn't working at all i stopped playing mutt entirely based on the fact that it wasn't working i'm still on level one because it hasn't tracked the single thing to improve my uh my overall level so to me it was just like if i can't even earn rewards there's no point in playing this game now several times throughout the year they have said that they have patched stuff already and it hasn't actually been patched for everybody so um you know this might be another one of those things so let me know in the comment section if you're still having issues if you're watching this video and you're still not getting your daily rewards tracked um but you know it's still if it, if it improves for a lot of people that's still a plus uh, and if you know if they give away some free stuff at the end of the day um, to try to make up for their for their mistakes uh, whether in the form of packs or players I'm not really sure what they would uh, end up doing but that would be really cool too so you know give something out free to the community for all the mistakes you've made and that might be a good way to get people back in the game at this point you got to entice me to get me back in the muck because I'm probably pretty far behind I think people have to like 90 overall teams now I think mine was like an 86 when the new uh, season came out and I stopped playing because it wasn't you know recording at all um, if you give away some free stuff stuff that might be a good way to get people to come back uh the next thing that i'm going to go over is the uh the roster updates because we we're just past the trade deadline and there was a lot of massive movement that is finally in the game uh at the after the latest patch i know like when christian mccaffrey got traded they they basically you know put him in the game right away they put him right on the niners which um you know that didn't even take till the you know later that night but a lot of trades that happened close to the deadline weren't in the game immediately uh and they're all now in the game now so i'm just going to go over them real quick i already said christian mccaffrey to the niners uh roquan smith to the ravens uh aj klein uh was actually traded back Chicago but not a lot of people really you know even knew about that Chase Edmonds to the Broncos uh, Bradley Chubb to the Dolphins which is like probably one of the biggest ones the Dolphins are looking really good by the way they also got Jeff Wilson Jr. to the Dolphins from the Niners which is a trade that for a fifth round pick I wish the Eagles would have done uh, Chase Claypool traded to the Bears which is actually really good because the Bears Darnell Mooney is a pretty good number two so to have Chase Claypool and uh, Darnell Mooney on the same receiving core um, you know they actually have a pretty decent receiving core now to go with um, to go with their quarterback and to go with their run game. So they actually have a pretty decent looking offense. The defense though is decimated now. They trade away their best players with the exception of a couple guys in the secondary. Um, TJ Hawkinson now with the Vikings. One of the better tight ends in the league is 89 rated tight end. Um, so that's a really good uh, pickup. I mean, the, the Vikings are, are pretty good at tight. I thought Irv Smith was a pretty good tight end, especially in Madden. Uh, we already went over Robert Quinn, uh, who got traded to the Eagles. Calvin Ridley traded to Jacksonville. He can't play until next year, but I think he probably can play in Madden online, I would imagine. So that's a really good pickup. They have some pretty good, a pretty good receiving core now. The Bills got a couple of guys. They got a new running back, Naheem Hines, who's fast and a good receiver. So that's actually a really good Madden pickup because they're a pass-heavy team. So to add a really good receiving back with some speed is kind of an upgrade in my opinion over Devin Singletary they also picked up a safety by the name of Dean Marlowe but I don't really know much about him uh the Atlanta Falcons is where he came from the Atlanta Falcons 
actually traded for cornerback Rashad Fenton from the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, so that upgrades their secondary. I did mention how the Broncos trade away Bradley Chubb, but they also traded for Jacob Martin. They got, and that cost them a fourth-round pick. I don't know how good Jacob Martin is, but they got him from the um, from the, the Jets, which doesn't make a ton of sense because the Jets, if he's a good player, the Jets are in the playoff push right now. Uh, and that's pretty much it with the exception of, I forgot about William Jackson to the Steelers. They really needed a cornerback. That's another one that doesn't make sense because the Commanders are 4-4 four and four now and actually have a chance at getting into the playoffs. So making trades doesn't make a ton of sense. Uh, a, a while back, Deion Jones was traded to the um, was traded to the Browns, uh, which I, I didn't even know. So I'm just going over some of these. Robbie Anderson to the Panthers. These, a lot of these are a little bit older, but uh, they're still pretty good. James Robinson to uh, to the Jets. Uh, some really good trades. So definite shakeup when it comes to a lot of rosters, and that, all that stuff's done now. So next up, I'm going to go over the player ratings that changed uh, from week to week. I do this every single week. I start off with my Jalen Hurts tracker, who had a four-touchdown game last week against Pittsburgh. He went up plus two. He's now an 82. He's gone up eight full points since the game came out, and I still feel he's way too low because he is. If you look, I know a lot of people think that Josh Allen is probably the MVP front runner, but if you look at their stats side to side, uh, Jalen Hurts actually has a lot of things better than Josh Allen. His completion percentage is better than Josh Allen. His average yards per attempt is better than Josh Allen. Um, he, you know, obviously he. He's less than touchdowns. He's also less than interceptions, which is important, less than turnovers. Uh, his quarterback rating is higher than Josh Allen. So a lot of these stats are stats. I mean, everybody just sees the touchdowns. They see the yards. Uh, Josh Allen definitely passes way more. He's got way more attempts. So things like that are going to help. But when it comes to efficiency, Jalen Hurts is probably more efficient in the things that he's doing than Josh Allen. At the end of the day, though, uh, Josh Allen and the, the Bills are not. They're a passing team where the Eagles are kind of thought of as a running team. So they don't definitely throw, they definitely don't throw the ball as much. But Jalen Hurts is up a plus two. Last night, Thursday Night Football, he had another good game. So I'm sure he'll get another plus one. He's pretty much getting a plus one every week unless he has a massive game, like a four touchdown game then he probably goes up a little bit but uh, moving on to some other players uh, Dalvin Cook is the highest rated player to go up this week he's a plus one to a 94 overall I'm pretty I know he had a good game I don't really remember what it was but there's three guys that got plus ones that are up to 94 it's David Bakhtiari which you know nobody really cares about linemen and Mika Parsons who's also on a uh, meteoric rise as he's up to a 94 overall last week he got a plus one in speed this week it's just a regular you know he didn't get a, he didn't get a speed boost but definitely you know the last gameplay I put out I was playing against him and it was noticeable how he just comes off that edge so it's nice to see um you know that i, I don't know he's definitely one of the best players in man right now because of that that edge speed uh joel botonio gets another plus one i think he had a plus one last week justin simmons gets a plus one he's had some minus ones throughout the weeks uh he, he's obviously going back up to where he belongs aj brown only got a plus one three touchdown performance only got a plus one i feel like that should have been a plus two a lot of people in my comments are saying that he should have um some sort of uh, superstar ability at this point I, I tend to agree the guy is playing like one aaron jones plus one up to a 91 Laramie Tunsil plus one up to a 91 Amari Cooper plus one up to a 90 and Joe Mixon plus one he hasn't gotten a plus one in forever he's been negative 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 he's a plus one up to a 90 Quinn Williams plus one up to an 89 overall he's a guy that's uh in the MVP conversation for defensive player of the year um from time to time I mean it really depends on how many games the Jets win but very good player should probably be over 90 by now uh, Alvin Kamara Gets a plus one. He's been probably one of the most negative guys since the game came out. So to see him jump back up a point is nice. He's up to an 88 overall. Jalen Waddle, plus one, 88 overall. He's been moving up since the game came out as well, having a monster year as well as um, Tyree Kill. Dak Prescott, plus one, up to an 87. And Zadarius Smith, plus one, up to an 87. Zadarius Smith had Defensive Player of the Week last week, so that's a really good uh, jump there. Uh, but he probably should have got a plus two as well. They didn't give out a lot of plus twos for some reason, even though there's a couple guys that probably should have got it. Going down, Jonathan Taylor, minus one. Not really sure what's going on in Indianapolis. I know they got a new quarterback there, but uh, things aren't looking too great. Tom Brady, negative one. Another negative one for uh, Tom Brady. The newly divorced Tom Brady, his life is just going to shambles in uh, real life and in Madden as he's going down another point. Minka Fitzpatrick gets a negative one, which is interesting. I mean, I you know, A.J. Brown got the better of him. I, I, that's another one where I don't really understand, like, you know, when, when, when Darius Slay shut down Justin Jefferson, they got a plus two. Uh, last week, I, mean, I know when uh, Patrick Sertain shut down uh, Devontae Adams, you got a plus two. Like, typically when star players play each other and one really, like, obviously gets the better of them, like A.J. Brown obviously got the better of Minka Fitzpatrick, mossing him in the end zone and stuff like that, he should have got a plus two. And maybe, I don't think Fitzpatrick necessarily should have got a minus anything. But uh, it is what it is. Rokon Smith gets a negative one, newly acquired by the Ravens. 
Michael Thomas negative two. He's out for the season. So I, I'm sure this is the last time we'll get a negative. And then Vita Veo, who's also been getting tons of negative overalls. He's probably down quite a bit since the game came out. He's down to a negative one uh, 88 overall. And Adam Thielen, negative one to an 87 overall. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want me to continue this, like I said, if you guys want me to continue with updates, uh, no matter what those updates are throughout the Madden year, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Please make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team. We can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.